Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In the previous API testing tutorial, I have discussed how to perform the data driven testing using JSON file. In this chapter 7 of API testing tutorial, I will discuss how to perform the data driven testing using CSV file. Let's start discussing about how to perform the data driven testing using the CSV file. So previously we have discussed how to perform the data driven testing using the JSON file. So while discussing the JSON file data driven testing, so we have passed the first name and last name from the JSON file. And at last we have verified the first name and last name. And if you go to this particular tests, so we have written the line number 20 and 21 for reading the test data from the test data file. And after that, in the line number 25, we are verifying the first name. And in the line number 30, we are verifying the last name, right? So these are the two validations. So will be applicable if we pass the CSV test data file. So let's prepare the CSV test data file. Then we will discuss how to perform the data driven testing using the CSV file as well. So I will go to the one of the folder here and I will create the Microsoft Excel worksheet and we will convert this into the CSV file later. So here I will add the header as F name and then L name. So F name is nothing but first name and L name is nothing but the last name. And here I will specify the first name as Postman, then last name as Tutorial. Then I, this is the first set of test data and we will pass the second set of test data as API testing as a first name and I will specify the last name as tutorial and we have passed the first set of test data and la second set of test data and let's pass the another set of test data so here I will specify the first name as spec flow spec flow selenium shi selenium c sharp I will specify as the first name then last name I will specify it as tutorial so that's it. We have specified the three sets of test data in this CSV file. So we'll convert this Excel file into the CSV file. You can go to the file and you can select the save as option. Then after that, select the location wherever you want to keep the your test data file. And here in the save as type, I will select the CSV type. So here I'll select this CSV comma delimited. Then after that I'll specify the file name as test data CSV. So that's it. I will save it. So I'll say yes. Then I will close this Excel file. So that's it. So here we have the our CSV file. So this is all about creating the test data file. Let's go to our postman now and I will select this collection and I will click on three dots and I will say run collection. So here we will use only the rate booking API and I will uncheck all these other API calls and respective test script. So that's it. On the right side, in the run configuration, make sure that. So this will become three because we are passing the three sets of test data after selecting the or test data file. So we'll sel select the test data file now and here I'm selecting the test data CSV file Then I'll say open and if you look at here, so iterations got now it is increased to three and also or whatever the file we have uploaded, we got the file here and make sure you are getting the text slash CSV as the data file type. So after selecting the our test data file and after that simply you can run the booking API and if you look at this one so here total we have three iterations in the first iteration this is the first iteration and it is verifying all the assertions that is of status code body contains some string content type response time first name and last name so these two we are passing it from the outer data file based on that it is verifying the API response so let's look at the what is the request it is sent to the application server 
in the iteration one that is the first set of test data should pass to the application server now so i will go to the request body and if you look at here so it is passing the postman tutorial as the first name and last name that is the, in the iteration one in the iteration two it is passing the api testing tutorial as the first name and last name and in the iteration three our api is passing the first name as spectro selenium shisha and last name as tutorial right so this is working as expected so this is how you can perform the data driven testing using the csv file